Seriously? An Omega Seamaster Aquaterra 41 millimeter in beige? Yeah, seriously. And I'll tell you why I picked this odd one out. So, the Aquaterra in beige. Why beige? Because, hey, I'm wearing a pink sweater. I'm not afraid. I'm wearing these Jordans with pink socks. I'm not afraid. If I can handle pink, I can handle beige. That's not a problem. And it's not all beige. It's also opaline. You know what color that is? Well, let's say it's silverishly beige. It's not seriously beige, but silverishly beige. Anyway, this is the small seconds version of the Seamaster Aquaterra, 41 millimeters. And um, I know some people who really don't like the small seconds at six o'clock. At first, I wasn't a fan either. When Omega released it, I thought, what the hell is wrong with the central seconds? That looks perfect. Why do we need a small seconds? I think this watch is the answer why we need a small seconds. I found this beige Aquaterra in a sea of Aquaterras. 292 different references of Aquaterras to be precise. And to help you find this one, I will give you the reference number. Let me read this one out loud because you don't want to make a mistake here. This is the 2201241210005. So, before I start my talk about the fashionable colors and stylish appearance of this watch, let me first get the basics out of the way. And that is that this Aquaterra is a 41 millimeter steel version that is water resistant till 150 meters. And as you would expect from a modern Omega, it has a coaxial master chronometer certified movement inside the case. And the movement inside the case is the caliber 8916, a METAS certified chronometer movement. METAS is the Swiss Institute for Metrology, not Meteorology, it's Metrology. As someone once said, it's measuring shit. Anyway, the caliber is accurate 0 to plus 5 seconds a day. That's the accuracy, so that is pretty accurate. And it's also visible through the sapphire case back. It's a very nicely finished automatic movement with a nice sun ray pattern on the movement and the rotor. Quite spectacular. You can see the finishing of the movement, you can see the movement in action, but what you can't see is that it's anti-magnetic. It can withstand 15,000 Gauss. 15,000 Gauss is the equivalent of a coin-sized magnet that can lift nine kilograms. So, if you take your coin-sized magnet, this watch won't be afraid. More boring facts, it has a screw and crown, but it helps keep the, uh, the water out till 150 meters, as I already told you. So, we have all the technical elements out of the way and all the numbers and figures. I will give you the price at the very end, so stick around. But now I want to talk about something way more subjective, and that is the looks of the watch, the aesthetics. Very personal, very subjective, I know. But let me tell you why I like it. I saw this watch on the Amiga website, amongst its 292 brethren and sisters, and it was in winter. And I don't like winter. I like spring, I like summer. And this watch looks like summer. That's why I picked it. It's because of the sandy beige, the light opaline touches. It's almost a fashion watch. Almost. Because it's too serious to be a fashion watch, a full fashion watch. But the way Omega designed the dial and picked this beige rubber strap to go with it shows a sense of style and fashion. What I really like 
are the sandblasted rings around the dial and the subdial, combined with a black outline, combined with black hands and black indexes. It is a very, very strong look. And the black keeps the beige from just drizzling away, if you know what I mean. I'm not even quite sure what I mean, but you know what I mean. It's a subtle watch. It's also an acquired taste. But once you get it, and once you put it on, it really makes sense. Then it's not too bland at all. It really makes a statement. And that's what I like, a subtle statement. There's one thing though. I like the beige rubber strap with the contrast gray stitching. It's a subtle contrast, not too contrasty. But I also think this one would look good with a off-white rubber strap. Unfortunately, that's not in the collection. But what Omega does have in the collection is 50 plus other strap options. What is also a very good strap option for this watch, it will make it look a little bit more serious, but still pretty cool, is a golden brown Nova Napa NATO strap. Look it up on the Omega website. Just go to the watch, scroll down, and you can try on 50 plus different kinds of NATOs. Coming back to the idea of an off-white uh, leather rubber thingy, I was uh, thinking of an, an off-white tropical rubber strap and just maybe for your info and for my info the lug width is 20 millimeters so you know we've come to the end of this fashionable review and i promised you the price and i will reveal the price to you now this fashionable watch on a technical foundation a solid technical foundation is 6,400 euros in the Netherlands. Is 6,400 euros a lot of money? Yes, that is a large chunk of money. But for that price, you will get a good looking, stylish, fashionable even watch on a very solid technical foundation. This watch will function for the next 20 plus summers without missing a beat. Having said that, of course, take good care of your watch in summer. So be careful with seawater, salt, ice cream, sunscreen. Just make sure you keep it squeaky clean. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.